Good morning everyone. It is Wednesday the 6th of January and we're going to gather again just to read God's Word. Uh, it's We're in Proverbs chapter 6 this morning and we're going to read together um, the first 15 verses. So let's read them um, just as on this morning. My child, if you have put up security for a friend's debt or agreed to guarantee the debt of a stranger, if you have trapped yourself by your agreement and are caught by what you have said, follow my advice and save yourself, for you have placed yourself at your friend's mercy. Now swallow your pride, go and beg and have your name erased. Don't put it off, do it now. Don't rest until you do. Save yourself like a gazelle escaping from a hunter, like a bird fleeing from a net. Take a lesson from the ants, you lazy bones. Learn from their ways and become wise. They have no prince or governor or ruler to make them work. They labour hard all summer, gathering food for the winter. But you lazy bones, how long will you sleep? When will you wake up? A little extra sleep, a little more slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. Then poverty will pounce on you like a bandit. Scarcity will attack you like an armed robber. What are worthless and people what are worthless and wicked people like? They are constant liars. Signaling their deceit with the wink of an eye, a nudge of a foot, or the wiggle of a finger. Their perverted hearts plot evil and they are constantly stirring up trouble, but they will be destroyed suddenly, broken in an instant beyond all healing. Amen. That's in it. Um, verse fifteen of Proverbs six. We're starting to get into a bit more with of Solomon's wisdom. It gets a bit more confusing, a bit more sort of in-depth and detailed. Um, he talks first of all about putting up security for a friend and don't let yourself get caught by something. Talk about using common sense. Um, you know, it's a bit like somebody who signs um, a guarantor for somebody without actually knowing what they're doing. Um, do you realise that by signing that you're, you're you know, you're taking on board what's going on with them as well. Solomon's just saying that use a bit of common sense. And if you realise you've done something wrong, go and talk to your, your friends. Go and talk to that person. Get Make sure you get yourself out of that again. Just be sensible. Um, but from that passage, probably the bit that I like the best is that it talks about the, the ants. Um, ants are very industrious little creatures, very strong little creatures who work together with the minimal of sort of instruction or direction, but they work together for the good of their community, um, the good of the home which they live in. Uh, I, I love the example of the ants because I, I feel it's a good example of us for church. It talks about working hard, being involved. Um, if you go to an ant colony, the ants just don't sit back and let everybody else bring everything to them. Every ant has a role to play, and we're the same in, within a church life, church community. We all have a role to play, um, and it talks about not being lazy. And with church, yeah, it's really easy to be lazy. It's really easy just to sit back and let everybody else do the work. Um, instead of let everybody else volunteer, step forward, like, they'll do it. You know, somebody else always does it. But actually, we should challenge ourselves as to what we can do. Now, I know at the minute it, it's a really difficult thing to do because, again, this week we're going to face further restrictions. Um, we're waiting for the executive to announce it, but from the word that came out last night, you know, this new law coming in on Friday for stay at home and um, so many things closing down still, and it's going to be like that until the beginning of February. But, you know, as a Czech community, we still are active. We can still do this, we can still stream. We can still talk to one another by the phone. Um, maybe you're thinking to yourself, I haven't talked to anybody for a while, nobody has phoned me. But what about if you pick up the phone and phone them? What if you take the initiative and, and rather than waiting for them to phone you, you do it. Go on ahead. Because you'd be amazed by just how a simple phone call will change someone's day. How by showing that little bit of concern that you will show them just how much they are cared for and loved, not just by, by you and by the church, but by God. You know, being active, not being lazy. And that's what it says about um, the ants. 
talks about um, you lazy bones, how long will you sleep, when will you wake up, a little extra sleep, a little more slumber, a little folding of the hands, says, then poverty will pounce on you like a bandit. You know that poverty is not just about financial poverty, it's about the poverty which comes from having no connections, no friends, it's poverty that comes from a poor relationship with God, it, it's so many other things, not just finance. But we can do something about it. We can get involved and do our part. So there's a challenge for the day. Is there one person today who you could phone and who you could have a chat to? One person who you haven't spoken to in a long time? One person maybe who you've thought of? Um, why not pick up the phone and give them a call? Be like the ants uh, and don't wait for somebody to tell you. Just do it. Let's pause and let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you again for this day. Thank you again for the opportunity to uh, be able to meet through the streaming, just, just to hear your word being read and to be challenged by it, Lord, as well as being encouraged. Uh, Lord, this is a difficult time in our land. And again, we continue to pray for our land. We continue to pray for um, our leaders, that you would give them wisdom. Uh, we pray for today as we wait for uh, the decisions that have been made and, and what we will be told. And Lord, help us all to get involved with that. Help us all to play our role. But Lord, also help us to play our role into looking out for others, to being active for you and active in our community. And help us to be able to reach out and connect with someone today. So Father, thank you. And continue with us now, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks folks for joining in. Um, as always, stay safe, uh, whatever you're up to today, and be back here again tomorrow morning, same time, same place. Till then, take care. Bye.